Hey guys, it's Harry. Uh, sorry if I seem a little agitated throughout this con uh, tutorial. People, uh, this is my fourth time shooting it, and people keep interrupting me. Okay, this is a tutorial on how to use the accelerometer uh, in the iPhone to move an object around on the screen. Our object is going to be a square UI image view with a black background. The first time that I went through this, um, I actually wrote all this out for you guys, but people kept interrupting me, so I didn't get through the tutorial. Okay, so, um, basically you want to go into your uh, .h uh, view controller and create a CG point called Excel point, short for accelerometer point. Uh, you also want to input the UI accelerometer delegate into your UI view controller. So, uh, then you want to put a an IV outlet UI image view square. And we're going to set this UI image view to have a black background and move that around on the screen so that you can see it. Uh, and then an NS integer called X, an NS integer called Y, an NS integer called XM, an NS integer called YM. And that's it. So just pause the video, pop it down if you haven't. So basically, what I'm going to explain is, so this, the Excel point is where the accelerometer is currently like pointed to. And then, the uh, uh, this is the square image, I think that's pretty explanatory. And then the NS integer X is uh, going to be the X value for um, there, no, there's going to be a lot of calculations throughout this that require doing multiple things through multiple procedures to the X. So I created X and Y and then X, M and Y, M. So X main and Y main. So it all becomes simpler once I explain this. Okay, so uh, first you want to set up, you want to start off with your default view. When the user starts up, the ball will automatically be in the center. I mean, the square will automatically be in the center. And so you want to set the accelerometer point X and dot Y to be in the exact center of the screen, which is 160 by 240. Uh, and then you want to set your X and M to 160 by 242, so that it'll equal the same as the Excel point. Then you want to put the square in the center of the screen by telling it to go to the accelerometer point dot center. Then you want to set up the UI accelerometer and give it a name. Then you want to set its delegate to self. Then you want to set uh, its update interval to 0.10 slash 5.0, which will give it a rough uh, update time. Uh, if you're doing like a fast racing game, you'd want it to be faster. But for something like shakes, you'd want it to be much slower. But yeah, it's basically it. Mm -hmm. This is all we really need for this tutorial. That's how fast we really need to go. And then uh, you want to go into the void accelerometer UI accelerometer, the name that we named our accelerometer, which is accelerometer. Uh, when our accelerometer did accelerate, uh, we want to get the acceleration and then we're going to use it. And so here is how we are going to use it all throughout here. Now I've added a few little fun details to this that m many other tutorials don't have. Now I've added gravity, which is right here, so if you just tilt it a little bit it'll start to roll uh, or slide down sideways, unlike a lot of other tutorials where it'll just stick in one place and it'll, it'll look kind of weird uh, if you just have it move exactly to where you want it to go. It won't look like it's It'll look like it's defying the laws of gravity, because it is. Now we're going to add gravity. So, uh, now we want the acceleration, or we want to edit the acceleration. So first this is just adding the gravity and stuff. Uh, so it's basically saying if it's just a tiny bit uh, slanted, then start rolling it. And then... So, then we want to get the acceleration to where we want to put our little square. 
So we want to say that x equals the acceleration amount times 60. We want to amplify it. I just chose 60 because I felt like it. And then you want to uh, create. You want to set y to the acceleration dot y times 60, and then do all this math. It's not really that hard. So I mean. You can just pause the video, get the sound, you don't have to listen to me babble, but I think that it'll be helpful to you if you understand what all this means. So then this, this is going to keep it from falling off the screen. Uh, so if the accelerometer is bigger than 50, and it's... Oh, right, okay, so... Sorry, I need to change it. So R square, you can make it whatever width and height you want it to be, but I'd make it a square, just so that it's much simpler for you. And then divide the width and the height in half. Now, for the you want to take the width, the half of the width, um, and put it here. So our width is 30 divided by 2 is 15. So, you, so we're going to make this 15. And then, uh, if we 20 minus 15, uh, so yeah, this is again on x, so minus 320 minus 15 is, uh, sorry, 305. Okay, so 305, and then you want to say over here 15 again, uh, or actually no, you want to say here half of the height. For me, it's just a perfect square, so 15, but the way you calculate it is just half of the height. So 15 and 15. And over here, 480 minus 15, 465. And then put the square to the accelerometer point. Now you need to copy this exactly. So if you want it to work correctly. And I'm absolutely sure that this works. So uh, thanks for watching.